My name is Kerry Thompson. I'm the Director of Development for Industrial Arts Institute. Hi, I'm Mark Dombrowski. work for Industrial Arts Institute here in Onaway, Michigan. We're a skilled trades facility. I'm John Zinda. Uh, my name is Todd Winfield. I'm a student in Cohort 13. Uh, it is an all-inclusive um, welding program. Yeah, here to weld. MIG welding, um, stick welding, and uh, we're going to finish up the course with TIG welding. Our intentions in life is to provide as many skilled workers as we can for whatever industries are out there. We have all ages. Um, we're probably 50-50 come to us f directly from high school, but then that other 50% is anywhere from you know, early 20s to 55. One of the biggest things I always tell them is, you know, as far as respiratory protection is to make sure that anytime you're in an environment that could hurt you or harm your lungs, or to make sure to wear your protection. Um, my father was a welder. That's how uh, he took care of our family when we were little. The way I look at it is I look at it as being my dad. You know, my dad, if he hadn't had welding and been able to take care of our family like that, who knows what would have happened to us. So being here and get, getting the next generation of people that need have that need to be a welder, to be able to take care of their families, well, it's really important to me. I, I love welding for the skill that it is, uh, and I know that if I want to start my own fab fabrication operation later on, I'm going to need these skills, so um, it seemed like the logical choice to make. Sometimes he'd have like covers for his face, and I remember coming, he'd come home and have like, you know, covered in soot basically. You know, it's just something they didn't think about. You know, even in the fire service, we didn't really think about it all that much either until the last, you know, like probably 20 years. And a lot of firemen and a lot of people were dying because they weren't protecting their respiratory systems. Yeah, wearing the uh, the full, you know, battery-powered respirator outfit is, uh, it's solid. It's really comfortable. Uh, it's like a breath of fresh air, like literally. Um, there's a little fan that runs inside, keeps everything cool. Anytime you're welding, especially with stick, there's a lot of uh, fumes coming up, um, and you kind of got to stay back from the plume. Um, with this, I really don't have to worry about it. I can, you know, get wherever I need to get for the best view. It's nice being able to go from like welding, flip it up, and you don't have to put on a face shield for grinding. Or it's kind of like everything's in one, um, rather than like a modular system. Uh, it's a good product. Yeah, it's well made. Um, it does what it's supposed to do. If they realize at the education level that safety is important and if we're putting out the right safety products for students to know what they need to do to protect their self, going forward that will expand it out to the industry where people across the industry will know that it's important to protect their respiratory systems and it all starts right here. You know, you got to be conscious on your health, you know, long term, you know, I don't want this negatively affecting, you know, my life. I'm not playing games with my health, so... <laughs> You could go on 10,000 fires or you could weld 10,000 times and maybe not get cancer, but you could weld that one time and you could get cancer or you could get some illness from that. And it's just a big thing to be able to protect it and be able to take care of the people is just a great thing, so. Yeah, I feel like a system like this is the way to go. Well, number one, I live for my family, okay? Three kids, I have six grandchildren, I have a wife of 37 years. Fishing. I like fishing a lot. The couch is always nice. Fat tire bike riding, um, cycle cross riding. Friends, I love to spend time with my friends and my family. Yeah, anything outdoors, you know, we've got so much water around. Kayaking and bike riding, I like to walk. I walk about six miles, five or six miles a day. Well, I'm just a positive person, I love life. and Everything's great, but especially grilling, it's my favorite.